So now, what are you going to do? What are you going to change? Dress in a vinaigrette? the salad, right? Come on. So the standard formula for uh, a vinaigrette is three parts oil to one part vinegar. So uh -huh. all your vinaigrettes that you're eating are three quarters fat. Uh -huh. and I'm just and I want to prove to you that you don't need that much fat to all have right. a really great tasting uh -huh. vinaigrette. What makes vinaigrettes taste good is usually the acids inside, so the the, the vinegar or the lemon juice like I'm using here, right. and the aromats like the onions and the herbs, right. and the flavor detonators like Dijon mustard. So I'm going to create a nice, thick, rich, creamy vinaigrette, right. and I'm going to use a fraction of the oil. So here's how okay. we do it. Uh, first we chop some shallots. Shallots mm. are those milder onions that you find at the bottom, you know, underneath where all the potatoes are in the store. And this right. is where it, it helps to have a great knife. Nice sharp knife. And you just cut with the grain. You slit it in half. Right. And then using the butt of the knife. Good catch, by the way. <laughs> you just go ahead and mince them. Right. All right. And mm -hmm. then you save these parts to cook. So these go in the microwave about two minutes, mm -hmm. and they come out looking like this, nice and cooked. The reason right. I cook them is because I want to make a puree out of them. We're going to use pureed shallot to thicken this vinaigrette instead of the emulsification you normally get with olive oil and vinegar. So that is this the same blender you make the ice cream This is in? your blender, yes, oh, this is the blender, the Viter <laughs> Prep, the miracle blender. And the other thing is with this kind of a blender, which emulsifies anything you put in it, you don't need the help of all that fat and the egg yolk right, that usually right, goes right, into it. So, right. Alright, so we're going to add sherry vinegar, highly aromatic, very delicious. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice because I like to mix up the acids. Right. And Dijon mustard, one of the greatest flavor detonators ever. 15 calories a tablespoon. No fat at all. An amazing, amazing miracle food. And definitely a metabolism booster. Is that a special kind of Dijon mustard or just the strongest regular? As you can get. Cour, cour sauvage okay. is the one I look for. It's <laughs> savage heart mustard. That's literally what it's called. <laughs> and then only two tablespoons of olive oil, which is um, eight tablespoons less. Wow. So it would normally be about ten. Wow. And you have to measure. You can't throw around olive oil like it's got no calories. You see chefs doing that on TV all the time. But, um, you know, every time you go like that with a bottle of olive oil, it's like two or three hundred calories. Right. It's, most of us can't afford to do that. Start on low. Get that blend to incorporate all the ingredients. Use the bat that this blender comes with. Right. And then sort of turn it up and up and up. Look how creamy that is already. Right. I didn't really need any of the olive oil, but it, it will add a nice flavor. Right. All right. Now, I like the flavor of the bat. And see how fast the work it, that uh, blender makes up. I like the flavor of raw and cooked um, shallots, so I use both. And we're going to add a lot of parsley and some salt. I love and parsley. Some I think that's Isn't a very underappreciated. I agree taste. as well. Yeah. Most people use the curly parsley that doesn't have a lot of flavor. Right. If you use the flat Italian parsley, it has much more flavor. See how creamy and oh, yeah, it looks just looks like great. vinaigrette. So taste it. Put your put your finger in there. Good see if you like it. Maybe put it. Put a little something on. Oh, here, let me get a piece okay. of lettuce. Well, I'm going to toss that for you, but... But I just, in order to yeah. taste it, I need to taste okay. it on something. All right. Mmm, good. Very good. All right, so mm -hmm. got the sweet and sour thing going on. Mm -hmm. So, dress your salad. Right. Like you normally would. Nice big bowl. Great. They say toss your salad because that's what you do. You know I washed my hands yesterday, so we're good. <laughs> and you just plate it up. So you have a nice big salad full of fiber, a lot of water. It'll fill you up. And instead of 120 calories and 12 grams of fat, using this vinaigrette cuts it down to 64 calories mm. and 4.5 grams of fat. That's great.